And then on flight day three, it was time to extract Unity from the payload bay. It was uh, wedged in there pretty good. We had a fairly limited clearance to bring it out of the bay, so the whole operation uh, took about an hour and a half to maneuver it up and then onto the orbiter docking system that you saw on the forward portion of the payload bay. And uh, we just flew the arm very slowly and uh, Jim was great help being my assistant and letting me know how quickly we were moving the payload. We then uh, pitched it up about 90 degrees, rotated it around to align it properly with the orbiter docking system. And the unique thing about uh, mating these components is we actually didn't use the arm to bring it all the way down onto the orbiter docking system. We took it so it was six inches apart and then we fired the thrusters on board the shuttle to provide the closure rate necessary to attain the capture sequence and you saw the thrusters firing there. 